One of the challenges as a public investor is that you are an extremely minority investor in the companies that you're participating in. As Joe likes to say, that means you are getting the company as it is. And if you think that you, know, you need to sit around for a new CEO or for a change in board, you know, buckle up. I hope you've got a lot of patience because that investment is likely to underperform your benchmark or underperform you know, other securities that you're, that, that you're looking at. And so I, what we found is that the, so you have to, you, you want ideally there to already be the people at the company that would be either, you know, running the company as if you owned it, you know, in, in full in its entirety, or if you were running it yourself. And, you know, this is some of the advantage of, you know, having a career of spending some time in New York and spending some time out, out in the Bay Area. A great example is Bill Reddy. He was someone that uh, I hadn't known about, hadn't asked about, but multiple people that I'd worked with in my career, some that had worked at Venmo with him, some that had worked at, at PayPal with him, brought him up to me and, and talked about their experiences working with him as being so outstanding and so transformational in their own careers. And I wasn't even fishing for the information. And you just, you don't forget those things. And, and when you see someone like that get promoted into a position like that, there's a lot of reasons to believe that that's likely a, a potential <laughs> good step for the company. To be so well regarded and to have worked with companies in their early stage, their growth stage, and even their maturity stage, and, and, and be such a valuable player. Also, it even helps a little bit to know that you know when someone like that leaves a company, it's because he's leaving it, not because he's getting kicked out. We can contrast this uh, with, to be frank, someone like Evan Spiegel. And Evan has had really high turnover in his uh, executive ranks in the years that he has been running the company. And that turnover in executives ranks, those executives haven't, you know, all of a sudden then gotten, you know, incredible jobs at Amazon or, you know, some other great large franchise. And that's an issue. And that, that's one of the things that you, even, you know, Meta scores really well on is, you know, their, their management team has been there a really long time. There's lots of internal promotion. That means there's a lot of great worker development that happens within the organization itself. And when there's a lot more churning, you know, going on internally or folks on the outside, that's expensive. And, you know, that works against this sort of compounder philosophy on, you know, building, you know, learnings on top of learnings, you know, and growing with the people as much as you can with the people that you have, as opposed to thinking that all of a sudden new people can sort of change the, the shape or the outcome of your business. And so I do think, you know, this is where sort of the people component, whether it's from specific individuals and the way that they manage or, you know, the way that a company, you know, operates uh, within itself uh, is, in fact, uh, an important determinant of, um, of success with an investment.